Hey y'all, we are doing all pink glam and we are using the Sweet Pinks by Juvia's Place. This is a really pretty palette that features six pink shades. You get three mattes and three shimmers and we are using most of them for this look. So let's just get right into it and do some makeup. As always, we're starting with one eye already done and we are gonna work on the other eye. And we're starting with like a big fluffy-ish eyeshadow brush and we are also gonna start with this kind of hot pink color in the middle. It's one of the most vibrant colors in this entire palette and we're gonna use that on the outer third of the lid and we are really gonna pack this on. And these shadows are super, super pigmented. You can see like even as I'm starting to pack it on, we've already got a good amount of color there and we're really just going to amp up this pigment and again i'm just packing i'm not sweeping yet i'm just tapping all of that color on now that we've got it tapped on a good bit i'm going to take much much less on my brush i only tapped it into the pan once and we're just going to sweep it in a little bit and out a little bit and really what we're doing is just kind of softening this line a little bit so that's not as much of a blob of color as when we first started packing it on there. We're gonna go in with a smaller fluffy eyeshadow brush and we're gonna grab this lighter pink down here and we're gonna use that as a transition shape. Yeah, as a transition shade. So what this is really gonna do is help smooth out that edge and help blend out that pink that we started with. And this is a good eyeshadow tip in general. So if you find that you have difficulty blending in this area, it may be the order in which you're applying product. So try to go for a darker color first and then use a lighter transition shade to blend it out and see how we're getting a nice blend with that color versus using a lighter shade and then blending a darker shade into it. That may help you if you have trouble. We are bringing this a little further over, so going more into the crease to carry that darker color. Now I'm going in with a bigger fluffy eyeshadow brush in that same pink. I'm just gonna make sure everything is really, really nice and blended. So I'm just going over that area where we just apply that color just to make sure that the crease area is looking good. I actually lost a little more color than I would have liked on the edge of the lid, so I'm just gonna put a little bit more there. Now we're going in with a pointed eyeshadow fluffy brush, and we're going back to that hot pink color, and we're gonna smudge that onto the lower lash line. And I'm also gonna take this out into the outer edge at the top, because we are gonna do a wing. We've got a wing and we're gonna wing it over here. And because of the wing, I just wanna make sure that it's connected at the top. So I'm just blending some of that pink into the outer corner for that wing shape. I've cleaned off my brush and I'm just gonna blend it a little more just to make sure it's nice and soft there. I don't want it to be too harsh. So now I have a flat eyeshadow brush and we're going in with this really vibrant shimmery pink that is in the middle of the bottom row. And we are going to really pack this onto the lid. It's like Barbie pink almost. It's got that like vibrance to it. And we're just packing this on to the lid. So again, no sweeping motion, just tapping it in and focusing it on that inner third of the lid. And once we've got it pretty well packed on there, we're gonna start with a more sweeping motion to carry it over towards the outer corner. Because we really want it to be like the highest impact in the middle and then just kind of, you know, zhuzh its way out. So I'm just sweeping it into that darker pink that we first applied. We're gonna use a detail eyeshadow brush and we're gonna go in with this, this pink, this pink here on the edge. It is a bit brighter than that first pink, so we're gonna use it in the center of the lid and that's gonna create a little bit of a highlight and give it a little more dimension. And this is also getting 
tapped on in there. And we're really just focusing it on the center of the lid. I've cleaned off my brush and I'm just gonna blend the edges out just to make sure that it looks, you know, more like it's a cohesive one piece. Using a little pointed eyeshadow brush, we are gonna take this pink up here and just do a little inner corner highlight. And I'm gonna start by putting it on pretty heavy and then we are gonna blend it out. So it's gonna look like a lot, but we are gonna blend it out. Clean off the brush and we're just gonna blend this out. So I want it to be not obvious. I kind of want it to melt into those other shadows. And you can see how blendable these are. Like this is blending out with no problem at all. And I'm gonna carry this down to that very inner corner at the bottom. And using a flat eyeshadow brush, I'm going to use the same pink as a little brow bone highlight. For the liner, I'm using the Saharan palette, also by Juvia's Place. And this has a really great black in it. The shade is called Chad. And that's what we're gonna use for the bottom liner and also for the wings. First, I'm gonna start with a little detail eyeshadow brush and I'm just gonna smudge this black into the lower lash line. And I'm really blending it in with that pink a little bit on the edges. Now using an angled eyeliner brush, we're gonna pick up Chad and create our wing. So I'm gonna bring this up and at the top, I'm just going to create a line across. You can see how pigmented this black is. It works really nicely as an eyeliner. And to finish things off, I'm gonna go ahead in with a blush brush and I'm gonna use that very bright pink that we used at the very beginning as a blush just to kind of bring everything together. I'm only going to use a little bit because this is so pigmented that I don't want it to be overpowering. So I'm just sweeping it on to my cheek. And I'm also using the shimmering pink in this palette, the light shimmery one as a highlight. So this is pretty versatile. You can use it as blush and highlighter. Of course, I like getting the most out of every single product. So this is the final look. I finished off with a matte pink lip because I wanted to kind of keep the theme all pink, but I went with matte because I didn't want the lip to be competing with the eye too much. So I hope you like this look. I hope you like the tutorial. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I have a new video every single Tuesday and Friday. So click that notification bell so you can be first to know when there's a new video and I'll see you next time.